Okay, once again here with Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and I'm with the Flaunt Vico, a crowd funder that's still happening. Sweet little bike, been enjoying it. What I want to do is talk about the controls and then take it a climb up the canyon. So I'm here at our local park with the Lizards and the Flaunt, and let's talk a little bit about the controls. Now this is a pretty much a standard dual control bike. Got a thumb throttle right here. We can choose our levels of assist up to six with our plus and minus buttons. Oop, let me aim the camera a little better. Plus and minus, there's the throttle. One thing this bike has I really like is it has the ability to choose your power level. And the way we do that is we hold the set button. We're looking at power, eco, and normal right in this area here. We hold the set button. And what this does is it uh, actually kind of creates a soft start. So now we're in power, eco, Normal, normal is the uh, default. That's actually a very nice setting. Eco's a little bit not a mutt enough. And then uh, power, that's where we're gonna leave it. Hit set again, go, you can do the trip odometer there. And hit set one more time, goes back to normal. So we can see how much battery power is left. Trip, odometer, level of assist, uh, speedometer, and also that tells us the lights are on. So, let's take it for a little ride up the hill. Now, what I wanted to talk about, that power, eco, normal mode, in normal, it it gives kind of a soft start and so many people uh, when I let them ride the e-bikes the power comes on kind of abruptly which most people really like but it can actually kind of get your attention and maybe only even make you feel uncomfortable on the bike so when you're in the normal mode it kind of soft starts when the power kicks in it kind of kicks in you still get the same amount of power in the end but it takes a little bit to get there which saves the battery for longer rides and also makes it more comfortable for you. Uh, me, personally, I kind of like the power to come on right now. So we're in level four, so as I start pedaling, the power is going to kick in right there and goes to the fourth level. And with these buttons here, we can go to less uh, and all the way to zero and ride it like a regular bike. So we'll go back to plus, uh, we'll do about three. And I'll probably switch the camera back and forth a couple times here. So we're in actually third gear, so maybe I'll just stick with this here. I wanted to have my hand free to shift the gears over here, but I think third gear will be good for going up the hill. Now this is a 500 watt, 36 volt bike, but that's been the standard for a long time, plenty powerful. So I'm gonna kick it from four, five, six. Now this street here at 50 mile an hour for the cars. I'm doing 12 and a half, I'm barely pedaling. I am in the maximum power uh, level setting at six. Now I do have the option of going down to let's say four. Use a little less power, it'll give better range. I don't have to speed up the hill, I'm still doing 12.1. Here, let me just uh, kind of give it full throttle and quit pedaling. Maintaining 10, back to pedaling. Go up to the max level again at six. Accelerating, pat, I'm sure to 12. So anyhow, it's dual control. I can uh, basically leave it in any setting I want and use the thumb throttle while I'm pedaling, of course, or not. No pedaling, thumb throttle. Holding 10 mile an hour, it's a pretty steep grade. Not the steepest by any means. So back to no throttle, pedaling in level four. It's a nice, comfortable 10 mile an hour, not working hard at all going up the hill. And another thing about this bike too is the throttle is a true override. That means if I go into level six maximum and I give a little throttle, now the throttle is doing it now and it actually gets less throttle. It gets the throttle that I want more or less. And also too, the more importantly, is if I'm in level one and I'm, oh yeah, pretty noisy. If I'm in the less level, the least level uh, riding around town, and I want like a, a power boost, the maximum power, or to get out of a tough traffic situation or just to get a little extra juice. The throttle at any time will give me full power, regardless, so I don't have to toggle. So I'm off the throttle now, back to level four, which seems to be perfect for this hill. I'm in third gear. Level four, barely pedaling, making it up the hill in a nice, easy 10 and a half miles an hour. And this, this bike will definitely take steeper hills than this. This is a pretty steep one. Let's see if we can see back where we've been. So anyhow, that kind of gives you a rundown of the controls. Dual control, pretty standard on most bikes nowadays. It uh, has cadence control. That means it has a sensor on the pedals. It t knows when the pedals are turning. 
And that's what turns the power on and off to the pre-chosen -level, uh, pre level one through six from your buttons and a throttle that'll work any time. Well, I could just keep going up the hill and shoot more videos, but I just saw a nail I'm gonna pick up anyways. So there it is. That's the Flaunt Vico. Uh, pretty much the same bike as their Atticus, only that one has a triangular frame and an extra color choice. You do have a tire choice. I, I'm gonna uh, do a, a full blog article. The uh, crowdfunding program is going for another two or three days, so that way if you're just something on your mind, you can save some money, but it'll be around for a while. Well-built bike, and you know, it's one of those bikes that I actually, I, I wouldn't mind keeping. I like it. it it's, it's, it's kind of a, a critique that I give them is would it be something I'd want to have, and I think this one is. All right, well, thanks for following along. There's the controls and a little climb. the flaunt Vico.